friends, my name's Allie and welcome to Storytime Shorts with the Rapid City Public Library. Have you ever heard of the story of the gingerbread man? You have? What about the story of the sugar cookie man? Hmm, I've never heard that one before today. But today we have a special story about just that and it is called Tough Cookie, a Christmas story. And it is written by Edward Hemingway. Let's get started. I'd like to thank Henry Holt and Company for allowing us to read this book today. Tough Cookie, A Christmas Story. Once upon a time, while Fox was visiting Christmas Town in the land of holiday treats, ooh, look at all those yummy treats. A little cookie, still warm from the bakery oven, burst out the front door and shouted, I'm a sweet cookie. Well, hello to you too. And since you brought it up, you do look sweet, said the fox. Of course I'm sweet and fast. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the sugar cookie man. <gasps> fox never could resist a challenge, so he gave chase, shouting back, you look very sweet, sweet enough to eat. Ha ha, just try to eat me. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the sugar cookie. Mm hey, fox was pretty fast and he loved sweets. <gasps> Crunch. But Cookie wasn't sweet at all, and Fox spit him right out. Blech, you taste awful. Huh? How dare you? I'm a sugar cookie. I taste wonderful. Sorry to break it to you, my little friend, but you taste terrible. Plus, I think I just broke my tooth. You are one tough cookie. But I'm sweet. Um, no you're not. But if I'm not a sweet cookie, then what am I? A slowpoke who tastes terrible? What do I do now? Boo hoo. There, there, don't cry. Hmm, maybe you just need some sweetening up. You think so? It's worth a try. Let's go to the dentist. So after a quick trip to the dentist to get his tooth fixed, Fox took Cookie to the Christmas Town Spa where the elves dipped him in delicious eggnog, sprinkled him with powdered sugar, and sang him sugary sweet Christmas carols. Fox gave him a lick, but Cookie still tasted terrible. Hmm, you said you were a slow poke. Maybe we should work on your running instead. So Fox signed up Cookie for the sweet treat Christmas race that very afternoon, and they headed out for the park. But Cookie's stubby legs and lack of experience made it impossible for him to keep up with the more seasoned runners. And as hard as he tried, run, run as fast as you can, Cookie, he came in last place. Poor Cookie. Cookie was exhausted and he didn't feel so tough. Was he cut out for anything? Fox thought so. Every treat in Christmas Town should be able to build itself a proper gingerbread house. You can too, I'll help, okay. So they found a nice little spot in the gated community of Cookie Cutter and got to work building and decorating. But when they were finished and Cookie went inside his beautiful new home, crash, it didn't exactly hold up. Mm. And that's when Cookie crumbled. I'm not sweet, I'm not fast. I can't even make a gingerbread house. Everything I do is half baked. Don't give up my little Cookie. We'll figure this out. You've just got to hang in there. Why not hang with us? We've been looking forward to meeting you all day. Huh? What do you say? It makes perfect, perfect sense, seeing as we're Christmas tree ornaments and you are too. I am? Of course you are, silly. You're not like the other cookies. You're special, baked with glue and lots of salt with a little hole in your head for a ribbon. Ah, so that's what that's for. I should have guessed. Cookie finally knew what he was made of and he couldn't be happier. That afternoon, he hung with care from a branch on the biggest Christmas tree in the center of the park with the sweetest view in town. <gasps> Look at all those sweet, sweet treats. Overjoyed, Cookie shouted for all the world to hear, look, look at me, you can't reach me. I'm an ornament on a tree. Make some room up there for me, Cookie. Fox never could resist a challenge. The end. So, 
tough cookie thought that he was a sugar cookie at first, but and he tried so hard to be as sweet as possible, but that's just not who he was. And when he finally accepted who he was, he was able to make friends and find his place. Good for tough cookie. Well, thank you, my friends, for joining me today as we read our story. I hope that you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more stories from the Rapid City Public Library, and I hope you tune in next time for our next story and craft. Thanks so much, friends. Have a great day. Bye.